Uh, if they didn't read the rules, that is not my problem. They will get disqualified if they try taking a nerd with a clerk grunt before the sentinels have been cleared out. Alright, so, as before, everybody should be opening up at least double harvester to be able to get these mini bases. Yep, yep, probably going to be going into triple, since he will not be able to afford that generator upgrade early on. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. Strike going to be picking up an early mini, and so is Stars in front of their base, because the fodder is marching down on their way. Looks like he's got a grunt here to take this as well. Just kind of waiting for Stars to go into the Clerk Grunts, to be honest, just to see if he is going to be going, doing the Nerd Strat, and he doesn't know that it is banned. There is... Triple Harvester. Harvester constructed. From Strike. He's going to be picking up the double as well. Looks like Stars is going to take the single out of the bat, so that's going to be three mini bases to him. Three slots, and three slots for his teammates. But they cannot afford their generators at this moment in time. Um, Stars is very broke, and this is the power of having a Yap Yap on your team. You don't even have to steal a mini base. You just have to threaten the steal and make your opponent overspend. Now while this is going on, EOD is going to be stealing some power in the middle as well. Nice mine. Not only that's the anti-player there, Yap, steal his resources because he can't pick them up fast enough. Uh, but that is not happening right now. El Hechi Zero. Like, he secured most of the mini bases on his side. EOD only picking up two, and he's going into a double generator. No production from him as of yet. Hechi with the second generator, going to be going down on that back mini base. That should be pretty safe for the majority of this game. 2v2, you tend to get all the fighting in the middle and uh, at the opponent's bases. There is a second generator from Strike now. There's the upgrade. And we're actually seeing Ghost come out from Stars. Thank God he has read the rules and I don't have to disqualify him because that's always a tough decision in tournaments. Especially when you see want to see the best players play and run to the best of our abilities. We are seeing an armory and a barracks come up for strike. So we're going to be seeing a Forge Hog with some possible Flamers. wouldn't expect him to go too heavy on Snipers against the Yap Yap. They will just be here hitting fodder if you can't focus fire. There is the expert from EOD, the early expert, and he is just spamming skitterers at the moment. The double raid count from El Hechi. The triple raid count from El Hechi. We're going to be seeing triple heavy guns come out from him. I wonder if he'll go methane wagons as well. There is the watchtower he likes to build. I would expect another three of those on that base at some point. The double mine, so we will not be seeing the methane wagons come out early here. But the ghost should be getting ghost shield uh, very soon. They're about 100 power away, so he will be able to detect that as long as it's not all units in into it. There is a sniper, and the forge hog is on his way out. The expert just about built for EOD. Still no production from him. Just a lot of skitterers. Chopper skitterers, actually. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. It's going to help with the Forge Hog. Forge uh, needs to avoid those at all costs. Big army from red though, and blue are kind of split. Hetchy's out on his own right now. If they can pick off some of these heavy grunts, this would be really good. Ghost Shield just comes in in the fight as well. Snipers and Ghost versus heavy grunts and chopper skits. This is not a lot of chopper skits. Hetchy's just like all in by himself here. Good anvil round as well. This is looking really good for Team France. In the engagement at least. EOD picking up a third base and they have four power nodes as well. It looks like they're just playing the macro game. We're going to be seeing some shades from it's come down uh, instead of a beam. 
They are very far ahead on leader points right now. Here come the choppers. The Forge Hog is back in the way. And look how the ghosts are like ushering the Forge Hog around. But Blue are going to lose everything here. And if they can get on these Expos and deny them, our red team will be looking very good. EOD can almost go tech two. Grenade throw as well from Strike. He really is committing. Got some mines coming down. The ghosts going around. They need to pick up some of these power nodes. They need to scout. They have scouted that one. El Hetchy losing everything uh, in terms of actual units. So he lost all of his heavy guns. Still has a lot of fodder out. He does have mines spread everywhere. But Red Team needs to push now. Yeah, he's about to get tech 2. He's upgrading his X. No, he's not upgrading his X. But he's got more skitters coming out. This is just a delay tactic from EOD. Going to lose this base. Hetchy going to be taking the one on the other side as well. Keeping Red Team uh, on one base here. Welcome to all the people joining as well. We are now over a hundred viewers. That's insane. Uh, we got a beam coming down in the chopper at the back. Not hitting too much now, but it looks like a red beam coming down on all of these choppers. Four chopper skits go down. Fifth one does manage to escape uh, under the engines. That base does get cleaned out. Red team will want to pick that up immediately. Is that Banshee? See Banshee? Is that Banshee from both players or the Engineer Skits? No, we've seen Banshees from both blue players here. EOD with the triple Apex. Oof. Ghost gonna eat a mine. Oh, EOD gonna be picking up that base again in front of Red Team. Still not getting Tech 2 yet though. Still spamming at the moment. Forge will want to get Tech 2 and get Combat Tech immediately against these Banshees. We got our War Council coming up on this Expo. Good ammo around on the choppers, but all the choppers are coming in on the, this Forge Hog. Another one's on the way. He has run out of rams now. Scar bomb in the middle, but they are going to be able to get out of that. The Engineer Shields are up as well to negate 40% of that damage. We do have an Engineer Swarm coming down as well. Aside from the bases, Red Team looking really good in terms of fire. It's a huge Hunter's Brand going to be coming down in the middle. Connecting with a lot of those ghosts and the Banshees do come out now as well with most of the Marines pretty much dead to deal with this. So they are going to save the Expo because of the heal and the Engineers here. Forgehog on his way back. He just got his shield back. He is Red Bar. Blue Team have all of the Power Nerds, all of the bases and we do have a Grunts from above on the Tech 1 base, now Tech 2 base of stars. Uh, they're going to have to go back and do something. So it looks like the macro game did pay off because a Goliath drop is now coming down on stars base. He has no turrets. They have no army here, but the ghosts are on their way back. Rams onto the methane wagon. That's going to stun all of the ghosts. Uh, a generator is going to fall. We have engineers here with the spirit support to be able to save it. That grunt from buff is going to die. But the double banshee numbers now picking up with some engineer skits as well. Blue team managing to pull their army back into this game. Strike going super greedy with the third generator and tech free. Only has Marines out on the map. There is no anti air to deal with these Banshees. Pretty sure Hetchy was building Banshee as well at one point, but looks like his production has stopped. We got ankle biters coming out from Hetchy. Oh, P. There is a Tech 2 Grunt Goblin. There goes the Ram. Goblin is going to go down, but he's going to eat a mine as well. They're still trying to deal with these bases. EOD has upgraded his base. He's so confident right now. He's going to be putting his fair gen on this base on the opponent side of the map. Nice little Kodiak drop, though. though. Do have a Hunter Captain in the mix here. No shield on the base. Stars still with Ghost fighting the army over here. Another Yad Goblin gonna fall. Oh, the Kodiaks didn't actually anchor down there. 
Do have a couple of Wolverines in the mix. Did he? Oh, the Hunter's Brand going to be coming down on the two Wolverines. He needs them desperately. The Y ability, the Torn with the Hunter Captain coming down as well, but not going to catch anything. One Wolverine is left alive. We got a beam coming down on the Banshees. They should be able to run away from that. Going to kill a Banshee Skit. And that is about it with that beam. While Stars having the battle of his life against Hetchy on the left side of the map. Hetchy still has his expert as well. Just no base damage from either player here. We got Reavers coming out to deal with these Banshees. But blue team seem really far ahead in terms of tech. Look at all the rams going down the Hunter Captain. They're doing, they're doing no damage. They're doing no damage. He's that tanky. He just ate all of the rams. Oh, it teleports him out. But he is going to die. He's just going to die. Reaver's now here to deal with some of these Banshees, but these are strong Banshees. Looks like they got Combat Repair and Skitterers, and now we do have a Grunt Goblin on the way back. And it looks like Red Team are going to resign. It was just too much for them in the end. Blue Team just swarmed the map, took all of the bases, all of the nerds. Uh, they're going to come out on top in game number one. Game 2 is going to be going down on Mirage. I would say EOD and Hetchy probably going to be contesting for third place this tournament, third or fourth place. Got to update the results in the process because I am a one-man army at the moment. Let's turn the notifications back on. Let everybody gain their recognition. We are hitting a lot of follows at the moment. Holy shit, guys. Thank you very much. AI Concept, Serloco, and Mo 101 Phantom Stark, Magic Man Randy. Thank you all for the follow, guys. Appreciate you being here. I'm su really surprised we're still getting new faces to Halo Wars 2.
All right, guys, here we go, getting started in game number two, going down on Mirage. El Hechi and EOD currently 1-0 up in this series. Uh, we're seeing another Jerome come out on Mar Mirage, interesting. And we're going to be seeing Cutter and Serena coming out from blue team. Alright, here we go. EOD and El Hechi gonna be opening up uh, the bomb supply pad. Supply pad constructed. Actually, gonna be picking up the double mini immediately, literally immediately, and he's gonna beat Strike here as well. But Strike is gonna pick up the mini because he cannot afford it, even though he did go generator first with Jerome. So this is the mistake Super Squid made. He went gen first, but didn't pick up this mini. It did get stolen away from him. Um, Stars with the gen second as well. But Stars is cut out. Supply pad constructed. Well, actually, still with the triple harvester. He's gone fourth harvester on the mini base as well. He has no power. Wait, what? Did he pick up grenade for her? Did she just buy grenade for her off the rip? Let's have a look. Oh, it's this lag. Sound off, Marines. No, he went double harvester upgrade. Second gen for EOD. He's got the single mini up. Marines under air assault. Generator constructed. Here we go, we got the barracks on the middle mini base for El Hechi Zero. AD just choosing the macro game again. Uh, we do have Commander Jerome coming out fourth here. And the barracks. Oh, he's gonna change it. Barracks fifth. That'd be nice to see, but he might as well get the Jerome out first, then go into barracks. Star's got his barracks up. We have snipers on the way to the top already. And EOD just playing the eco game again. No production from EOD, by the way. He's going to be picking up an expo just like he did last time. I really hope he doesn't try to do this against good teams. Or the top team, should I say, because Strike and Stars are still good opponents. Has the garrison. You have a sniper now out for El Hechi, which could have been picked off. Um, but Jerome is now on the way. Let's hope he does get the Manus upgrade. He's far away from it. EOD going to be picking up two bases and just... Basically, EOD's doing a Hechi on Hechi and leaving Hechi to die. Hechi now with the second generator. I mean, it worked on Bedrock for them. I'm really not sure it's going to work on Mirage. Things go bad real quick on Mirage. Red team have two power nodes as well while they're harassing the double mini. They could literally just push main right now. Frost Ravens are going to be coming out from EOD. Mana Strop going to be doing some damage to the base. The snipers do see the mines. Going to pick those off. Uh, we are now seeing Hechi with a, a very, very weak push to the main base. Uh, with a couple of marines. Dull Mini has now been taken out. He will want to let Stars take that, to be honest. There's EOD's base with more Frost Ravens coming out. The Armoury coming up as well for him. No Watchtowers on the main base to defend it. And Red Team could just go straight to Hechi. Our base is under attack. Does have one turret up. Upgrading his second generator now. There is the barracks. Nobody picking up the double. Hetchy's probably going to take that for himself as, as again because he has a marine there. There you go. Look, Hetchy, greedy. 
Indy now has his uh, third base up and running. They're now going to be pushing up on this base. They don't have a lot of base damage. Does have grenade for actually. It's going to help, but they do want to take out this back turret. Our base is under attack. This could be over. Indy's going to have to pull something out of the bag uh, with Frost Ravens. There comes the mines with the ice blocks on the turret at the back. It's an anti infinity turret. Sniper's coming out. Should be able to pick it off though. Oh, he missed. They, two snipers just missed. Check your accuracy, boy. Here come that the Frost Raven's going to be freezing the Jerome and the Mantis. Going to pop some wire abilities on them as well. Look at that damage they do. It's insane. The players from EOD, look how quickly they are taking down Jerome and his Mantis. The wire abilities and the freeze. Kind of messed one up there. Oh my god. He one shot the Jerome. What the fuck just happened? Jerome just got melted by Frost Ravens, and now EOD has three bases. More Frost Ravens on the way. Uh, these snipers are useless, and Red Team's backing off. He allowed Hetchy to get the double mini back, so his eco is going to be fine. He only lost a turret from that. Oh my god, there's so many Frost Ravens. Oh my god, that one shot in every sniper. EOD picks up another base. EOD picks up another base. Four bases. Just like Bedrock. That's this time. An ODST drop on top as well. The players by EOD is going to go save his other base from the ODST drop now. I don't think Red Team know what to do. They lost Jerome so quickly. ODST is now getting frozen and shattered. Look how quickly they freeze and it just takes two shots from the Frost Raven to kill them. All the ODSTs get wiped up by the Frost Ravens. He literally has 71 population of Frost Ravens right now with four bases. He's got the Bison out as well. This looks like blue team's game again. Mastodon's coming out. Combat tech coming out as well. Oh, they're gonna have they have less population than blue team and less bases and less power nodes Full pop of frost raven. They're gonna be freezing everything. Jerome's gonna get freezing to death He won't be able to output any damage because he's gonna keep getting frozen and wire billeted They have one shot Texas shield off Red Team are going to resign. They're getting knocked out of the tournament. LHE 0 and EOD. Lord of War returns. Is going to progress on to the next round with Serena Frost Ravens. Uh, I don't think Hetchy actually did anything there.